what happened this weekend in Texas and Ohio is again a reminder that a mass shooting can happen anywhere. Consumer reporter John Matteries has some important advice from a self-defense expert about ways to increase your chance of survival in a shooting situation. It's a fact of life these days. Someone with a gun can walk into any workplace or gathering place and start shooting. If you suddenly encountered a shooter, would you know how to survive? A self-defense expert has some tips that could save your life. From Parkland to Pittsburgh, there are words we've heard too many times. We have an active shooter. Stand by for further information. Jim Hardman is a Desert Storm Army veteran who now teaches survival classes. If there's an active shooter, he says everyone should know three key words, run, hide, or fight. First, run. Always know where the exit is. You're always looking around. You're aware. Hey, I walk into a new business. Where can I get out? Right? Where's my escape? Gunshots? Jim says run if you can without running into gunfire. If I decide to run, I move with a purpose. Right? I'm just not running down through the center of a room to try to get away. I'm going to look and orient, okay, there's the shooter. Where can I move to get to a position of cover? Next is hide. Look for a spot that might stop bullets. Position myself to where maybe I've got that filing cabinet or that copy or something that's heavy. Jim says never try to reason with someone already shooting. Once that active killing starts, that rationalization's out the door. Obviously, your best bet is to escape. But if you can't get out, Jim says the next thing to do is to start barricading the room you're in, putting everything at the door to keep the shooter out. I might just grab this entire desk assembly, slide over and put in front of that door. And look for a way to secure the door with a rope or strap. I would just take this. I would try to loop it around as many times as what I could. Once the door is barricaded, Jim says, turn off your cell phone's ringer and make the room dark. Okay, so I turn off the lights, and then that's what confronts him when he comes in that door. Finally, fight. If the shooter comes in, Jim says, blind him with a flashlight, even your phone's light. Wow, you got me. And you can knock down his weapon, as he showed me. Don't try to reason with him. Never run into bullets. And don't hide under a brightly lit desk. And you've just increased your chance of survival. Want to learn more? Police departments and shooting ranges offer self-protection classes. The Department of Homeland Security has great videos on its site so you stay safe and you don't waste your money. I'm John Matteries for RTV6.